Hello everyone, this is Asim from Trade with Asim and Sajjad and today I am here with Forex for Beginners. So when we start to talk about Forex and we talk about people who are trading Forex, the first thing that comes in our mind when we are a beginner is what is Forex? So moving ahead, basically Forex is the market where bankers, businesses, governments, investors, and trader comes to the exchange and speculate on different currency pairs. It can be any currency pair. It can be euro against the dollar, Japanese yens against the dollar, USD, US dollar against Canadian dollar or British pound against the dollar. So most of the people would say it's a foreign market. It's a, a foreign exchange market. It's an FX market. It's a foreign currency market. You name it, people name it in a different way. And its foreign exchange market or FX market is one of the world's largest liquid market in the world with an average daily turnover of 3.9 trillion US dollars. It's an amazing market guys and then people would ask what is Forex trading and how can we trade in Forex? How to get benefit from this 3.98 trillion dollar liquid market? Uh, so, moving ahead, as a forex trader, it relates to a retail traders like you and I that speculate on the price of the currency against another one. So, for example, if you think the euro is going to rise against the US dollar, you can buy the euro USD or euro US dollar pair, euro and the US dollar pair, currency pair at a lower rate and then hopefully what you can do is when it goes high you can sell that currency pair and you can make profit so if you buy euro against the dollar and the dollar gets strengthened then you are losing position because the dollar is getting strengthened against the euro so it's important to be aware that the risk involved in trading forex not only just the reward so on one hand, if you are getting money from that $3.9 trillion market, you are losing as well on the other hand. So now how you can open or how you can start trading. So I will show you how to open a demo account. For To open a demo account, I have given my a broker link in the description so you can click on it and open a demo account before you start your real money you you need to open a demo account and you need to practice so on this lesson is so this lesson is how to open a demo account now and then how to practice on the foreign exchange or the forex market so moving on to a demo account i have pressed the link which i given in the description what I will do that I will put in my name, which I already have done. Uh, I'll select my city, Dubai, my phone number, and my email, and my preferred language, which I will select English. Now, moving on to another one, uh, we have got MT5 demo and MT4 demo accounts. I would prefer to go for MT4 and account type I will select XM0. Always select XM0 so that you're, you have got less spread. I will tell you later on what is spread. Actually, right now I can little bit explain you is that spread is or zero spread accounts is that you pay less commission. You pay less commission on your currency so that on your any execution that you do select the us dollar and keep the leverage maximum the maximum leverage that you choose the maximum losses and the benefits you will have so what is leverage is that leverage actually zoom or or extend or make it more more profitable let's suppose if you buy a euro usd pair and at one lot you are getting an X amount of profit, that X amount of profit is increased. Let's suppose on one lot you're getting $1 profit. But if you zoom it and make the leverage to 1.500, it will be 500 times more. 
and your your actually leverage what comes is that you borrow money so if let's suppose one to five hundred means that when you put one dollar trade it means you when you put one dollar in your account you can trade up to five hundred dollars so that means that if you have thousand dollar you can you will have the account up to 1000 multiply 500 dollars so it's a big amount and it's a big risk the higher the leverage the higher the risk lower the leverage lower the risk but on the other side higher the leverage more of the profit lower the leverage lower of the profit so i will select the higher leverage it's a demo account but select the leverage my preferred would be one to two hundred now investment amount let's suppose you select thousand dollars which you would be later on investing as well i would recommend that minimum should be one thousand dollars as well because if you're trading below you might lose or blow up your account and ending up with nothing uh in your account because the, this is a forex market it moves and it might move against you or, or it might move in your favor I'm just inputting my password. Bear with me. I have input. If it gives the email error, I will I will have to change it. So let's see. Click on open a demo account and let's get ready. Wow, congratulations. A demo account has been sent. All right, so here we are. I will just confirm my email address. It's very important to confirm your email address to, in order to validate your demo account. Now you see my MT4 account has been created and now I can create download my exam platform. Okay, so after validation, I can now download my MT4. When I click on my MT4 for VC, uh, I can choose my other platform as well. I will I will just take you back just one step back So you if you got Macintosh you got empty web uh, empty for web trader for iPhone for iPad You can download whatever you your your desired program, but right now I will I will download my MT4 for my PC Click on download I Have that MT4 ID which is in my email which is here I need to uh, have that MT4 ID so I will just go and open my other email where I will have my MT4 ID okay guys I have already started to download my MT4 which is already downloaded I'm going to install it and I will show you and then I have got the username and the password which I have put it at the time of uh, registration. So I'll, I'm just installing the exam MetaTrader platform. Uh, it will take few moments and we can see that uh, it's it's being installed. It will take few more minutes. You can see in the background it's a free stock charts which I use for my charts and reading uh, the data for my forex trading. It's really useful to use the free stock charts for your trading. Now we are finished with the trans, uh, with the MT4 setup and it has been installed for us. Here we are guys, uh, the MT4 for uh, from, for exam has been loaded. Now I'm going to go to my email to look uh, look for the exact server that it has asked me to do so my account is created on exam.com slash au slash dash demo 2 now i'll go to my exam and i'll look for that one all right it's here i have found my uh i have found my server and now i will input the mt4 id which is here i can copy and paste from uh, from my email which is here and I will input my password which I put at the time of registration I have clicked on save the password you can see my cursor and now I'll click on finish there we are we are loaded and I'm hope I'm hope incoming mail is going to be 
uh, $1,000 so that we can trade on. Yes, it's $1,000 equity. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a brand new uh, account, a demo account, which I have just opened. You can set your charts. I will show you how you get your chart as well on MT4. I will just exp explain this one. There is a bid price. I will select Euro USD to be very clear. Euro USD here is a bid price and the ask price. You can see it's it's varying, but it's it's the difference between the bid and ask is the commission or the amount that we pay to the broker that is giving us these services for for these services. So I have selected a, a, a zero account and XM zero. So on XM0, the commission or the spread is very, very low or sometime, most of the time, it's zero. Before moving into that section, I will tell you how to set up a chart and then how to uh, open a position. Currently, we have got this view, time duration, time frame. You can select any time frame. I will select a daily chart. It says wait updating. Okay, I will show you how to set up the charts uh, while that one is loaded. I'll go to the properties. Background, you can choose, you can keep it black as well. Uh, bar up. I would select it green. bar down needs to be red bull candle needs to be green pear candle needs to be red okay you have seen i have set it up a green candle now i'll remove this grid looks really simple i'll check a daily chart if it's been loaded yes it has been loaded and you can zoom it according to that one now you can see you can you can zoom your chart with this button and it show you a daily how it's been moving daily as you can see it's a very downtrend when on a very nice downtrend so it is called trend all the candles it's one one or one candle is showing one day Moving forward, I will show you how to open a position in uh, Euro USD or any currency pair. Uh, I would just show you, let's suppose you can see this Euro uh, US, USD JPY say trade no, but here straight full. So which means we can trade. So if you can see a, a lot of symbols which says trade no and you cannot open the trade like let's suppose new order and you can only just trade this one but not USD JPY. What you need to do is that you need to click on view and go to symbol. So you can see the USD JPY it's it's under normal Forex 3. But we have to select because we selected trade, uh, demo 0 ZR with 0 uh, spread. So that's why we are going to see uh, we are going to only use the 0 spread uh, pairs. So here I will say hide. And let's suppose I want to show in some more currency pairs in that. Uh, let's suppose GBP USD I'm looking for. It's not here. In the Forex 2 GBP USD. Here we go. Oh, no, it's something else. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just being choosy for some currency pairs. In the metals, I would say show gold. That's my favorite metal. GBP USD should be here. Let that so see. Now, let's suppose you can see the 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 spread is very small because of the uh, being being zero. So in the Euro USD, let's suppose at the moment, I, I what I believe is that it's a very strong downtrend, but soon we might enter a bullish trend. So what I will do, I will click on buy. I'm just accepting the terms to click on buy. 
That's all. With one click and buy, and we have opened one position. So let me show you how to close this position. If you just double click on this one, it will open a window. And what you need to do is close by market. Now I've just closed this one. And if you go to the account history, I was able to make a profit of $18. That's wow. That's all from Trade with Asim and Sajjad. Keep watching, keep liking, and yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.